<laughs> Murat says, I see how I shouldn't care about what she does now. But when I meet her again, I want to know if everyone did ride her bike. <laughs> if she did leave a lot of people ride the bike, <laughs> I don't want her back. <laughs> First of all, she's not a bike. <laughs> that was just a metaphor. <laughs> but uh, secondly, yeah, that's between you and her. If you can't handle that, and if you think that uh, she's done something against the norm of her culture, then okay, maybe you can feel uncomfortable. But to you, it's against the norm of your culture, but she's not from that culture or that religion. So what she does, it's within the norm. She hasn't done anything wrong as far as she's concerned. So you got to come to peace with that, come to terms with that. Then you approach her. Look at her as an individual, not as a physical entity. But I understand what you're saying. So see what works for you. So, and it's not the uh, end of the world if you're not with her, if you can't handle it. And it's not end of the world if you are with her, if you can handle it. You know, and remember, you've done the same thing and you will do the same thing. You see a pretty girl in a party that she likes you and you like her and you guys kiss, you wouldn't say no. So why do you think if she uh, is in the same circumstance, she would be doing something wrong if she does the same thing that you would? Be fair now. <laughs> I mean, how does she react to relationship? Does she learn bad behaviors? Well, listen, if, if uh, people... Uh, would be only uh, if all people would be influenced by all the bad things that we all see in our lives then everybody should be an asshole and everybody should be a total disaster because there's so many people do bad things than good people than good things being done so just because she has come from a family that her mother has been having multiple marriage and all that doesn't mean she's going to be a whore or she's going to be believing what the mother has been doing. No, people learn from bad things. In Farsi language, we have literally uh, um, documents that, and stories that, as you remember, if, if you have come across of it, they say, they asked so-and-so, a person, from where did you learn manners respectfulness and polite behavior he responded from assholes and from people who had no manners think about it we don't just learn good things from people who are behaving in good ways we also learn good things from assholes and people who don't have manners or they're not in their righteousness, they're not in the right part of and the right paths of life by seeing how terrible it looks and the effects of their behavior to the society and the consequences is that therefore their negative actions and behavior, lack of manner and responsibility shows us and teaches us what not to do and what not to get engaged in. So from bad behavior we also could learn good manners so you never know how she is going to interpret all that so there's no set rule on that depends on what she's made of